I'm going to show you a way to move a printer driver profile from one iPrint server to another. There's different tools to do this, and I'm going to show one method, but I just want to first show what options are available. One is you can use iManager. Uh, here I have two tabs. This is my iPrint appliance, and this is an OES server. One option is to go into printer driver profile, and let me cancel out of this. I'll go back into here. Uh, you select your print manager. The printer driver profile data is stored in the print manager database. And there is a copy printer driver profile option, and you can pick the destination. Now, because it's an iPrint appliance, it's a single server tree, I can't pick the print manager in another tree. So that's not an option. But if this were OES, this might be an option for you. Just want to point this copy option out. Now, another option is if you right click the system tray icon and you choose manage, it'll throw up this screen, which I've already logged into. It starts with the driver upload. I, I selected printer driver profile and there's a copy option. I can select this. I can choose copy to, and again, it's looking for a print manager in the same tree. This is the iPrint appliance. It's a single server tree, so there is no other option. Again, I, I can't use this option in this particular scenario. So here's an option where you can copy a profile from one server to another, whether in the same tree or not. There's this file on the iPrint appliance. Uh, the path will be this print underscore manager dot iprint appliance dot psm and it says padbtxt.xml it's a text file that is basically a text representation of the print manager database and if you go there's different sections here's the print manager section it has manager start and manager end and they have the redirect section which these can be deleted printers or redirected printers i won't go into that for this video then you have your printers here's where it starts with the printer you know, it has the IP address, it has, you know, whether auto driver updates enabled, SSLs enabled, accounting's enabled, ACLs, and then here's the end of that print. And then I have another printer. Let's go to the next printer. And so I'm going through all my printers. And I'm just going to scroll through here. And now we get to the printer driver profile section. This is the operating system. It's Windows NT 6.2, which means Windows 8. 10 or 11. It's 64 bit. Here's the profile name. This is the driver that was used in creating that profile. This is the timestamp that it was created. And then here's the data. This, so this is what we want to import to the other server. Let me just give you a little tour of my, my OES tree. Here's all my printer agents. And you'll notice at the bottom, I don't have any printer driver profiles. How do I copy this from here to there? That's what I'm going to show. So the first step is to create a copy of this file, uh, the destination one. So I'm going to do CP that file, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this, uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it profilecopy.xml. I'm going to VI that file, profile copy. You, I have to keep this opening tag, iPrint PSM. I must keep the manager tag, but everything else I am going to get rid of. This printer, which is line number 19. You can see right here, this is line number 19. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. And I have to keep this end tag. So I'm going to go down to line 118. So I can do colon 19 comma 118, line 18, and I'm going to delete everything. Remember, this is a copy, so if I mess up, it's OK. I'm going to hit DD to delete that line, that extra line there. So here I have the opening tag, the closing tag, and I have the manager, and that's it. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick the profile. I'm going to do the first profile on the list. I have two profiles listed here. I'm just going to pick the one. first one. It doesn't really matter. Highlight this. So I'm going to full screen this for a moment. And I'm going to highlight this whole section. This is the profile. It's called the HP 5500 profile. I'm going to go to the end here. I've got it highlighted. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit the insert key on my keyboard. 
I'm in insert mode. Notice I have a space here. I have the, it's between the manager and this iPrint PSM part because I've deleted everything else. I'm going to right click and it pasted everything. Now I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of insert mode. I'm going to hit DD to delete that extra line. And here, um, it, it looks awkward. Here, let me full screen this. There. It looks less awkward. So this, now I have the print manager and I have the profile. And that's it. Because that's what I want to import. I'm going to do a, a colon and then WQ for write quit. So now I have an XML file that really only has one piece of data I'm going to import. This is on my destination server. This is where the profile is going to go. So I'm going to do an RC Novell IPSMD stop. And then I'm going to load the print manager, the IPSMD, in a special mode. Uh, that's an import, an XML import mode. So opt Novell iPrint bin IPSMD minus X. The X means to import. And I'm going to reference var op novel i print print on the name of the print manager padb and i called it profile copy we do minus u cn equals admin o equals my o name which in my case is novel that's for my admin object and i'm do a semicolon which means a whole new command i'm going to rc novel ipsmd start so i'm going to hit enter on this it's going to prompt me for the admin password and there it did. It said it imported. It, so it recognized we have the print manager object, which is required, which there's no change there. And then it also processed the profile. Let's go look and see if it really does exist here. So here's my tree. I go to printer driver profile. Select him. Now, I'm not an IE, so I can't create and I can't modify, but I can delete and I can copy. And notice this was not there before, but it is here now. Now there's one other important step that needs to happen here. I need to make sure that the printer driver, the very same printer driver exists. Look at this file here. And Let's see what printer drivers associated to it. It is the HP Color LaserJet 5500 PCL6 class driver. These percent twenties is really a space. That's uh, HTTP. So I need to find that driver and make sure it exists. So the, an easy way to copy a driver is to go to my source here, CD bar op novel. I print resder driver windows nt 6.2 64 bit there's the driver so let's do a cp hp and i think i need well i need i do an scp sorry scp space minus cr the R is for recursive. The C, I can't remember what that's for, but I'm going to do it because I like it. <laughs> KW Bradford 9, which is the destination server, my OES server. And then uh, var opt novel I print resder driver windows NT 6.2 64-bit. So that folder is going to be copied to there. I'm going to type the password for the destination. Everything got copied. Let's take a look. CD var opt novel I print uh, resder driver Windows NT 64 or 6.2 64 bit. And let me full screen this. It's copied. Now, I think this driver already existed there because what I expected to see is that I think that that already existed there. That's, it actually didn't copy because what you would see, it would say root root here. So what you would need to do is chone minus R 
capital R for recursive, root, or sorry, iPrint.iPrint. .iprint. Mine already is, but I'm just showing you what you do. HP color, laser jet, 5500, and then do a restart of the driver store. So now I have the profile existing on the destination server and the driver exists. You have a valid uh, copying of the printer driver profile to the new server.